Hi everyone, I'm Martin Pause. I'm currently doing my PhD between University of Basque Country and the University of Stockholm. Today I'm going to present you a computational study about uh, Umpulung strategy reaction. The first project is a collaboration with uh, Professor Vugyu Kalakis from Athens University. This is a reaction between alkene, CO2, and allylic chloride to form propargelic esters, and this is catalyzed by NHC. So the second uh, part is the mechanism of uh, isomerization and functionalization of uh, allylic alcohol using hypervalent iodine. And so let's go for the first project. So as I said, this is a collaboration with uh, Athens University. They provide us a really nice result about a reaction catalyzed by NHC to form uh, propargelic esters with uh, insertion of CO2. And so they form from, med from moderate to really good yield esters. And the idea was uh, to understand the mechanism behind this, especially why we don't see high yield for benzylic chloride substrate, and also why we don't see any yield for pyridine containing substrate. So they propose us uh, a mechanism uh, starting from the formation of the adduct between NHC and CO2, then followed by uh, the reaction with the, the chloride moiety, followed by the reaction of the alkene, and then uh, the release of uh, the NHC to, to form the product. So after uh, DFT studies, we obtain uh, those results, starting from uh, the adduct formation with CO2, that is formed quickly with an activation energy of almost 11 kilocal. We can notice that the product is lower in energy than the starting material, so it can be possibly isolated. Then this adduct uh, reacts. Then this adduct reacts with the allylic chloride to form uh, first uh, esters. Uh, this has an activation energy of uh, almost 22 kilocal. Uh, this is the limiting step of the reaction, and it goes as a SN2 reaction. The next intermediate then reacts with the alkene. The next intermediate free react then with the deprotonated alkene as a Then the next intermediate is attacked by the alkene. This is followed by the release of the catalyst DNHC, and this gives uh, the product. So now, from this result, we wanted to understand why we have a really good result from uh, the first substrate, but lower result with the second one, and no result from the last one. As the SN2 reaction, the second step, uh, the reaction between the adduct and the chloride is the rate limiting step of the reaction, we thought that this could help us to understand uh, the reactivity of the different substrate. What we notice is that uh, the first substrates have a longer uh, bond uh, distance between oxygen and carbon and also carbon and chloride. And those uh, goes lower and lower as the yield goes lower. Uh, also the energy goes higher. That means it makes more difficult for the lab substrate to, to be formed, but not impossible. That's why the second substrate, we see that we obtain, with only one kilocal of difference, 61% of yield. This suggests that uh, the carbon that is uh, linked to the chloride should be as uh, much electronegative as possible and to allow a good yield for the reaction. But for the lab substrate, with almost 25 kilocal, we should be able to see some formation of the product. And so that means that this is not uh, the mechanism that uh, blocks the reaction, but has to be something else. And actually, uh, Professor Vogu Kalakis and co-workers tried to make the reaction in presence of pyridine in the mediate, and they observed no conversion at all, uh, starting with the substrate on, on the left. So that means the pyridine is actually killing the reaction but the mechanism says at the same time that should be possible uh, starting from this substrate. That is a really nice reaction starting from allylic alcohol to form a nucleophile substituted ketone 
or starting from carbonyl in beta position of the alcohol uh, cyclic product. So uh, this experimental result has been so this experimental result has been obtained in my group of Stockholm. So this experimental result uh, has been obtained in the group of uh, Professor Belen Martin Matute, and it has been obtained by Dr. San Marco and Dr. Martinez Hero. So the reaction starts from allylic alcohol, and then. Uh, the isomerization is done by iridium catalyst. This is a well-known reaction now. And in the second part of the reaction, there is the... And then in the second part of the reaction, the intermediate reacts with methanol and hyperanthiodine to obtain the, the product. So for the scope of the reaction, they get from moderate to good yield also. And we can also notice a good variety of uh, functional group. That means the reaction is well tolerant. Also, we can have uh, from internal or external allylic alcohol, this is working the same. Then they have also this reactivity when they start from uh, carbonyl in beta position of the alcohol and they obtain this uh, five-membering cyclic product and we, with really good yield and starting from ketone to amide. So we wanted to study the, the reactivity of the hypervalent iodine and methanol with the substrate to obtain uh, the, the product uh, we saw. So the part of the isomerization was not uh, in the scope of the study. So from a paper obtained from uh, FAMI's uh, group and co-workers, we propose uh, this first mechanism and uh, we start the DFT studies. We have the choice for the formation of uh, two iodonium intermediates. Uh, with the reaction after isomerization with the permanent iodine. One with iodine carbon uh, bond with the substrate and one with iodine oxygen. And we found that the one with iodine carbon was a lower uh, in energy than the other one. So we suppose that we could start from this uh, intermediate. After this, uh, we studied the reaction for the ligand exchange mechanism and we obtained an energy of almost 22 kilocal. That is quite high for our condition reaction that is uh, going at 60 degrees. Um, we try to add uh, TFE molecules coordinating uh, with the carbonyl and we saw that the reaction gets much lower activation energy, 16.2 kilocal. And this goes very well with our experimental condition. So this is a general view uh, of the mechanism for the formation of the linear product. Then we study the formation of the cyclic compound. We start with the same iodine carbon bond intermediate, and then we obtain, uh, instead of methanol, coordination of the carbonyl in beta position of the alcohol. And again, we see a ligand uh, exchange and the formation of the five-membering compound. From there, we wanted to understand why do we form the cyclic compound only and not the linear product. And this can be explained because the energy of the formation of the cyclic compound is 8.5 kilocal. That is really low compared to the 18.2 kilocal if we compute with the same substrate for the formation of the linear product. And this totally explains why uh, we get selectively the cyclic compound. So in conclusion, the first uh, reaction with the formation of propargilic ester catalyzed by NHC has been well studied and we can explain how the reaction is going and why some substrate give lower yield. And this is good insight for choosing substrate with what the reaction will work. And for the second project, we could explain the role of the hypervalent iodine and how the methanol can react to give this uh, the alpha methoxy ketone and why is the importance of the TFE. I would like to thank my both group, uh, the one in, from the University of Bath Country and also my supervisor there, Professor Enrique Gomez, and the group uh, from Stockholm University and my supervisor there, Professor Belen Martin Matute. And I hope you enjoy and I thank you everyone who is watching.